beautiful Monday in the Helen of the West. I hope you had an amazing weekend, a safe one, and you're right back where you normally join us in the morning on the DBS This Morning Show. My name is Marie. Let's see what's going on in the news desk. We'll be back. A good morning. Time now for a summary of your top stories. The Eastern Caribbean Alliance for Diversity and Equality has welcomed what it sees as an historic victory for human rights with the April 22nd ruling by the High Court in Dominica that criminalizing consensual same-sex acts is unconstitutional. We certainly welcome this win. And, you know, we see this as a major win, particularly for the island of Dominica. Um, it's also a win for the OECS, understanding we have a free movement of a people. And, you know, by extension, thinking about um, persons from other OECS countries who will also benefit from this law being struck down. The landmark decision, which comes on the heels of similar decisions in Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Antigua and Barbuda, marks a significant step forward in the fight against discrimination and stigma faced by LGBTQI individuals across the Caribbean region. Richard Chong has been appointed as the new honorary consul for Guyana in St. Lucia, taking up his official duties on April 11th this year. He is a respected member of the pharmaceutical profession in St. Lucia, having uh, served for 34 years in the public health sector on the island. As Honorary Consul, Chung will represent the interests of Ghana in St. Lucia and assist Ghanaian citizens within the jurisdiction of St. Lucia. There's a lot of linkages between Ghana and St. Lucia in terms of even true marriages and I say blood ties because um, a lot of families in Ghana um, are part St. Lucia and part Guyanese. And even me, even me myself, I am born in Ghana, living here for like most of half of my life and my wife is in Lucian, my kids, one is born in Ghana and one was born here. So, um, you know, and I think what applies to me applies to quite a lot of Guyanese and St. Lucians. Chung hopes to promote greater economic, cultural and social exchanges between the two countries, building on the connections forged by the Guyanese President Ufan Ali during his recent visit to St. Lucia. In other news, the Salvation Army is joining calls for St. Lucians to begin preparing for the hurricane season. The Salvation Army is one of several organizations which joined the National Emergency Management Organization, or NEMO, to provide relief and resources to those affected by disasters. Disaster preparedness is to prepare ourselves to get ready if anything happens to be on our feet as Salvationists, as the Salvation Army. You know that the Salvation Army is always there and we will be always there to help. Uh, as you know that the Salvation Army is part of NEMO. When I say part of NEMO, we are a member of, of uh, NEMO's committee and we have a big container there where we store something that when anything happens, to be present. The Salvation Army is also supporting calls for locals to track weather conditions and reports and to ensure they only monitor official sources of weather information. And finally, an increase in opportunities to develop technical skills in youth island-wide has been initiated here. Dubbed the Specialized Programs and Opportunities through Relating to Technical Skills or Sports, the initiative is expected to fuel the dreams of nationals through education. The program will include life skills, productivity enhancement training, or what we call PET, workforce readiness in the form of employability skills, first aid, which is pretty good for sports, entrepreneurship guidance, and technical vocation and education and training. The project is being facilitated through an accord between the Taiwan Technical Mission and the National Skills Development Center, or NSDC. These are your top stories. Thanks for watching. Thank you for those headlines. We'll take a short break and be right back. feature Friday past the Donata School on Island recognized the day as the light it up blue day and we caught up with them at the school. 
What's your name? Shania. Shania. What's your name? Harmony. 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 Oh, beautiful. <laughs> this is a lovely name. And you are? Harmony. Harmony? Harmony and Harmony. And, and, Shania. and Shania. Is you all having a nice day today? Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I hope you guys continue to have a lot of fun. Yeah? <laughs> Miss Frank, it's good to have you in the picture. Harmony. Oh, I like, I like you. You're nice. And of course, we've got this gentleman here. You're good? Yeah? Give me a hug, too. All right. Well, we're about to round off the, the, the month of April, Autism Awareness Month. And we're here with uh, the head of the Department of Autism at the Donata School. We're back here again. And today is their day for recognizing blue. Um, normally, internationally, the blue day would have been the second. The second of April. Um, but unfortunately, a lot was happening on the ground here around that time in St. Lucia. Um, so you guys have pushed it back um, to today. Um, the, today is what date again? It's today is the 26th, 26. but on the 2nd of April, mm -hmm. we were on Easter break. So yes. it was impossible for us to have anything right now. Right. So we pushed it back to the 26th of April, where we um, organize Autism Awareness Day, where we have different activities planned for the children. We'll have a legal assembly with all those Mm -hmm. All the, everybody, the whole school. Um, for now, we have four, um, 16 children on the spectrum autism in the three classes, but in, in total, we have 29. Okay. Um, the rest, they're a little older, they're in the vocational center and ADL. Today, we are going to do some little face painting. We're going to treat them with a little music, uh, like with a little it. ice cream. We're going to have music and just make the day happy. Happy. Happy, Wonderful. happy day that's special. It's okay to be different, mm -hmm. so we have, we're going to treat everybody to make everybody feel how it is and how we they have to um, accept our training in the society. Right, and we have so much behind well, about yeah, that's so many hand. arts. All where you look all, around in the yeah, classroom, yeah, that's their work. All it's their work. Is there. This is their work. Their handprints and everything. And we usually have. Um, Extracurriculum, like as you can hear, the music is playing. Yeah. Are they the ones playing the music? Yeah, they are the ones oh. playing the music. We have horseback riding on a Monday. We have wow. swimming. This was sensory to calm them down. Wow, this is so amazing. Um, I mean, you look like you, you, you're very uh, uh, tied and passionate about this. Oh, Tell yes. me about, uh, you know, what it is like heading um, 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 th that department. It's a very difficult work to deal with different children because all the children are different. Um, they are different in different ways. Mm -hmm. but some of them, there's colors that you cannot mention. Yes. There are some of them that do not like certain kinds of food. So you have to deal with them. Some of them you have to teach. Even though we take them to horseback riding, there's some of them that are still afraid of the horse. Right. So we teach them to tap the horse, to brush oh. the horse. Like swimming, they could just wet their feet. All that is part of sensory. And then to work with them, I enjoy working with the children because it's fun. Yeah, it's fun, and you class yourself into the yeah. category. Yeah. yeah, make you calm. Yes, they yes, are very calm. Then you learn a lot. They're very interesting, very intelligent, and you learn much, much, much more from them. Right. Let's talk about us now. Today, as you as you do that, you actually did call out on on corporates in Lucia and said Lucia and whole to represent. No, I I fall short in that department because okay. I didn't I didn't wear my blue. blue. Um, I'm gonna do that when I leave here. I'm gonna go change into blue. But you, you know, you actually um looked for. Persons, I think Lucille like answered that call and yeah. they lit up their, their sign blue as well. Um, that's fine. Yeah. And they lit up their sign blue as yeah. well. Um, some of the other corporate Lights are blue. Yes. Lights are blue. So, as you know, blue is the color of autism. Mm -hmm. So, Lucille like has the lights. We'll be having the lights on tomorrow and some other government department. Mm -hmm. We are asking permission, like Flow Flow sponsors with blue tokens for the children. Aww. And some other film give us some um, parents, give us some treats for them. So today we'll have a good time. Wonderful. So, and moving forward, what do you, would you like uh, St. Lucia? Um, how do we would like St. Lucia to, to play their part in ensuring? Because this is just one month, but these children are always going to be amongst yeah, us. Yeah. Um, how do you want us as a society um, to, you know, to deal um, or to, to, to embrace? Somebody on the spectrum of autism doesn't show it to you. Like, okay, a child with Down syndrome, you know, okay, that child has a, a, 
that child has a disability. With disability. Right. Like autism, it's normal. They can have a normal, they look normal. But there are some signs in them that we tell you, oh, that child is under threat of autism. Especially they don't like loud music. Mm -hmm. Especially when they walk, some of them walk on their tiptoe. They, 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 they don't socialize that much. Oh. So, you know, you have to, because there are, you can never tell. Maybe I'm the, on the spectrum. I don't know. Everybody's different. Right. Every, every child has a different sign of autism. Right. So as, as a society, we should just try to be a little bit yeah, more to, aware. Uh, yeah, to accept them in the community. Mm -hmm. Know when they're around, how to calm, do not shout after them. You know, right. by all means, they'll make noise. But you calm them down, you know. Have. But we, what if we know our society don't know and listen? We, so it, it just means just be good people at all yeah, times. Be, yeah, be because good. you would never know. Because you never know. Right. You never do walk across someone with autism. Yeah. You, walk into the supermarket, you make a noise and somebody just there cringing and making yeah. getting on. And we, you make, which we did get it wrong. Right. And then you now thinking, oh, what this person is just being I mean, a nuisance. Yeah. yeah. And you don't understand what's happening here. Oh, it's heavy. But we have to start somewhere oh, as a society. Any yeah. wonderful? Any last words? <laughs> any any oh, last? Yes, our, our viewers. I wish everyone a uh, bright and wonderful autism awareness day. Absolutely. Second feature, St. Lucia Jazz and Arts. Well, you might be getting fed up of hearing this, but you shouldn't. Why? Definitely. Just indulge, you know, embrace it all. Barry George is one of our creators on the island, and he is going to be putting on a production, a dance production, um, as part of the arts components for the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival. We caught up with Barry. A series of uh, exciting activities is all get up as part of the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival in the coming days, and the coming weeks, in the coming months. And we're here with Barry George. Barry George is very involved, and rightfully so. Um, you are going to be putting on uh, a very spectacular dance production as part of the arts component. Barry, welcome. Tell us about it. Well, um, Silver Shadow is performing arts academy is um, honored to be part of the arts, Jazz and Arts Festival for 2024 and we will be featuring a must-see production called Genesis which will be featuring 18 amazing dancers that will tell a story of life of an artist and the, the, the journey of the artist from dust to dust. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's an, a one and a half hour long production, a lot of amazing dancers and it will feature all of the styles of um, being taught at Silver Shadows. Um, of course, it's it's real nice with costumes, well lit. So it's, we 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 more or less gonna give a, a how you call this of a Broadway's type of ah. experience. And they use it with you. <laughs> this you. This is no strange place to you. You put on productions before. I had the privilege of once attending one of your yes, productions yes. and to see the transition in, in you know, a, a complete story being unfolded through dance yes. and, and and the beautiful myriad of dancers, the different dance moves, the right. different. So one minute you get a subtle sort of oh calming thing, and then some burst of energy. You right, know, it's right. you know, it's, it's it's quite amazing. Now, uh, are we looking for a three D version of, of what you? <laughs> normally put on no i think this time um for us for, at silver shadow for me as a choreographer i just want to bring something entirely different to saint lucia uh, and for me this project is also something that um i, I take deep and uh, heartfelt as well because i feel i have the responsibility to represent dance and all the dancers on the island and i believe that this dance production will pay tribute to that as well and also, also gives um, strength to the genre of dance um, Silver Shadow is one of the leading dance companies who have been um, preparing and preserving dance in Salusha for quite some time. And, and of course, this production will be, you know, the, the medium where we'll be showcasing and giving a really excellent and, and I would say breathtaking journey of dance as its best. Right. Barry, you've studied dance. You've been yeah. in dance. This is your thing. You know, this is home to you. And you've not only just done dance from the standpoint of St. Lucia. You right. have been abroad. You've paid attention. You've been involved in our productions outside of St. Lucia as well. Um, 
what does it mean um, for for young dancers? What does it mean for persons who loves the performing arts to dance? What does it mean for them getting involved on that level? Because okay, I like to dance, right? I'm right. here in Saint I'm dancing, but <laughs> okay, well, can I can I put any effort into a, a career in this? What 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 is? How far can I go with this? You would know better. Yeah, definitely, um, dance is a is a wonderful place, a wonderful um, journey, or avenue that uh, one can be involved and there are lots of opportunities and values to be learned as a dancer i mean in, one might just watch a dancer just performing but the values of working together group dynamism um, um how to work with a group setting building your strength and, and discipline and commitment all of those values have been taught in that and of course um the whole experience of, of performance and the freedom of being on that stage is, is something amazing and of course um you know, we, there is there is always room for opportunities and careers in the arts, mm -hmm. and um, of course, in, in in dance, we're trying to do that, trying to give our dancers that push, they can go forward and and, and um, audition for mainstream and, and school and opportunities. So there is an opportunity for for dancers, and uh, and this is what Silver Shadows are really about to open that avenue and, and, and create that medium for young persons to come in and express themselves and feel that there is a place to be, a place to grow that can, you know, if they move into the future or later on in life, they have the necessary skills to survive and, and, and make dance a career. Ah, I love it. Right. Let's 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 wire back down now to Genesis. You've <laughs> yes. got two show showcasing. Yes. Let's talk about the dates and the you know the pricing. Where would it be? So the premiere show will be on the Saturday the fourth at the National Cultural Center at eight PM. And again I stress it's a must see production. I mean we give it our all. We have everything in place. It's really a good be an amazing show. So we're asking persons to support it. And of course, um again Silver Shadow is you know, his membership is really youth-based and, and we really are a youth organization as well who, who supports culture. So, of course, we are doing a matinee show again to inspire the young secondary school students and primary schools to come and see, you know, dance and see themselves and, and, you know, and hopefully they can, you know, be inspired and, and be part of that whole journey of dance. So, this the, the on Monday the 6th, at the National Cultural Center, 11 a.m. will be the matinee school shows for the, the school's bolas. Right. What are, what are the prices and where can we obtain tickets? So the opening night, the big night, the premier night is only $80. And it's, it's really worth it. I can tell you that for the moment anyone sits at the cultural center for an hour and a half, they will be. They'll, they will forget that they will be in Saint Lucia for that I moment. We'll be, we'll, we will mesmerize you with dance and music and wonderful singing and so on. And of course, the 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 Monday show with, uh, for the secondary schools is only twenty five dollars. Again, we, we this again is to bring the theater at students. Those students who want to use the, the production as the SBA, you know, to do as the SBA to assess it for critiquing and stuff like this. An opportunity for them to come in and see it and see the lights and costumes and see the directions and see all the aesthetics used in in a performance and so on. So it's a good avenue for them to be part of and, and celebrate dance and you know and young people and talent in St. Lucia as well. Wonderful. Where can we get uh, tickets? We obtain tickets from where? So uh, tickets are uh, for the cell, um, the C CDF um, online, Jazz and Arts Festival um, uh, um, online sites of course and of course from Silver Shadow Performing Arts Academy Studio we have tickets on sale. Wonderful. Barry thank you and thank we look you. forward to that amazing um, showcasing on, on those two days. Yes thanks. Thank you. and welcome to this morning's Soka Sai session. Leading the wine is Sarah and myself, Shani. Let's get ready to flaunt with the Soka Sai. This morning, we will be doing a Bacchanal warm-up routine. Let's get ready to flaunt with the Soka Sai. Cross, cross, head. Four, three, two, and... Again. Two more. Last one. Push back and twist. And hold it there. Four, three, two, push back. And hey. 
fall. Three, two, squeeze, and. Four, three, two, one. Drop it out. Hey. Four, three, two, one, two up. Up, push. Awa, we're not doing it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Last one. Cross, knee. Hey. One more. Push. Ah. Hey. Hold it. Push, push. Four, three, two, squeeze it. Four, three, two, one, eight. Four, three, two up, let's go. We will. Oh no. Last one. Cross me. Hey. Last one. Push. Pull it. Take it up. Roll it. Push, push. Take it up. And squeeze it. Four, three, two, one, hop it out. Four, three, two, one. That was this morning's session. We hope you are feeling sexy, sultry, and strong. Have a wonderful day. No, I don't want to sound in the world. My, my, um, um, Kendrick said to me, but that's, that's normal. But it isn't normal to me. Have you ever seen a bougainvillea tree grow like that? I've seen bougainvillea, a little stump of this. It's a, one big, strong stump of bougainvillea roll into this big, flourishing top like a big mango tree. That is beautiful to look at. Well, there we go. On that note, go on out and have a wonderful day. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this some more. See you again tomorrow for another DBS This Morning.